My name is Jack O'Brien. I'm the editor in chief of Cracked. Uh, and joining me on stage, uh, Cracked's gurgling wellspring of edgy sexuality, Mr. Alex Schmidt. <laughs> Next to him, head writer for Video on Cracked, he is Dr. Mr. Cody Johnson. The hilarious stand-up from LA, where he writes for the microblogging site Twitter. Uh, he's a member of Women, one of the funniest uh, comedy troops on the YouTubes. Mr. Jake Weissman. Thanks to him, the newest addition to the crack staff, the hilarious Ms. Carmen Angelica. Thanks to her. Creative director of video and big swinging of Mr. Daniel O'Brien. Before we get into the research we've done on dogs and cats, for those of you who aren't familiar with what those are, uh, I figure we should all kind of uh, tell tell these people where we stand and whether we own dogs, whether we own cats. Uh, and Jake, I think you kind of have your allegiance uh, somewhat written on your shirt. So why don't you start us off? Are you a cat owner, dog owner? Uh, I actually don't have either. I have two angels. Uh, <laughs> uh, they, they're classified as cats. My shirt says real men uh, love cats. And uh, t-shirts are an excuse for a personality. But, uh, <laughs> It's fine. Uh, I have two cats, and I, I want to just say, just explain a little bit about how I got these angels. So, their names are Pebbles and Shiksa, and uh, when I, uh, I'm Jewish, so if you don't laugh at me, you're anti-Semitic. Uh, I told you I would, I told you, I told you I would accuse everyone of that right away, and I did. Um, I'm a candidate who delivers on his promises. Uh, okay, so I got the, so I used to volunteer at a shelter, and uh, one day these cats were returned there, so I asked why they've been returned. And apparently, um, they had them for about a year, a little over a year. They're very, the family liked the cats, but in the meantime, the family had a baby. And uh, the way these parents raised the baby was that when it cried, they didn't attend to it. They felt that the baby should learn its own. And the cats were so upset by the crying the baby went through that they would go to the parents' room and meow at the parents every night, and the parents returned the cats saying, we don't appreciate them judging our parenting techniques. <laughs> and then when they, the car drove away, they had a Scientology bumper sticker on their car. So if you think Scientologists are not crazy, you're wrong. Uh, and my cats are ex-cult members, so uh, I'm pretty f***ing pro-cat. <laughs> Uh, kind of on the other side of the aisle, Dan O'Brien. Yeah, I've been pro-dog my whole life, and they've always been, been rescues. My childhood dogs were Bridget, who was uh, Pomeranian mixed with garbage, um, <laughs> Eleanor Rigby, who was a beagle, uh, and Darby, who was a Sheltie, and now my current dog that I have just by myself is Jackson. He's uh, half Dachshund, half Jack Russell, uh, half best dog in the world, and there's no substitute for uh, the love that a dog can give you when you open your door and you're, no matter, you know, how bad work was, like, you got one of those real rough bosses or whatever, uh, and then you get home and this, and this tiny ball of energy is just jumping because as far as he knows, he hasn't seen you in a thousand years and he's just as excited every day to see you, uh, and it's, it's, uh, hard, it's impossible to be sad, and that's, uh, my biggest argument for dogs is that I've never seen a cat that was like, I'm so excited to see you that I'll look stupid. Cats are not of that ilk, but dogs are. All right, I'm in, I'm in the middle. Uh, I'm allergic to cats, uh, but I, I get along very well with them. I have two uh, beautiful uh, Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. Um, you have to say it in a very fancy voice. Uh, they're so beautiful that people think that they're girls uh, until they start licking each other's d uh, People say that that's uh, how boy dogs play, uh, but I think those people just don't want to admit that their dogs are gay. Uh, I love my dogs for what they are, a handsome elderly gay couple. <laughs> well, I, uh, I did not grow up with dogs or cats. I grew up with a turtle uh, that my brother named Swimmer because it swims. It's brilliant. Uh, and then, uh, since then, I've been basically a pet uncle. 
with a lot of, I've had a lot of roommates with dogs and cats, and I just get to pet it and be like, oh, someone should feed this, and just like hang out with it. Um, and I think I've enjoyed dogs company more. They're, they're very, very friendly and active, and there you are, and the cats just sort of uh, observe me and probably gather data, I don't know. <laughs> Jake is so mad and I love it. As soon as you came down and like, I think maybe I prefer dogs, he's like, F- this anti-Semite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dr. Johnson. Um, I, uh, I have both. Uh, I have a cat and a dog currently. Uh, they play all the time, they chase after each other, they sleep in a pile. It's the dream. If you have a cat and a dog, they're best friends. But if I had to choose, <laughs> Like, if my dog Maggie ran away, I would be f***ing devastated. It would be the worst thing that has ever happened to me. And if my cat did, I would be sad. (laughs) But I would get another cat. (laughs) Can I ask a quick question? So you run run the crack, right? (laughs) How do you have a working website with so many dumb writers? (laughs) We're gonna come to Carmen. Who's gonna? Uh... Well, I uh, I grew up with um, many cats and a f- many dogs. Um, so then we named them all after food. Um, and then I currently live. I'm a cat aunt. I live with cats that are not mine, um, but I treat them like they are without the added work that is put into owning an animal. Um, and their names are Kono and Lola, and they are very cute. Um, and oh, if I'm gonna name my preference, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting right next to him, you guys. <laughs> um, uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna have to say I have experienced and lived with more cats, and uh, and I I think last year I was never more heartbroken than when Kono was in the kitty hospital, um, and I just remember sitting in the bathroom being like, I don't know if there's a god. <laughs> <laughs> I read a New York Times article that was uh, said that like when a cat, like if you leave your cat outdoors, it's like devastating to the local ecosystem because they just like murder the f- out of so many birds and like they and they also like hide their kill. Like at first they'll bring them to you, but then once they see that you're like not into it, they'll like bury the body like a, like <laughs> actual murderers. Um, do you leave your cat outside? No, I have indoor cats, um, but because I, I don't want them to ever feel fear. Uh, <laughs> uh, because I'm a good dad. Um, but I think, I don't know, I respect that. I respect humans devastate the earth. Agriculture ruined the world, so cats are just doing what humans do. So if you don't like cats, you don't like yourself. Uh, <laughs> And you don't like humans, and you're probably a sociopath. And, uh, like, I love that they kill shit. good. They're beautiful. They're the most beautiful animals. Well, no, now that I, I really like Jake's interpretation that, like, it's cats being, like, holding up a mirror about the world that we as humans have already destroyed. Where it's like, cat, you killed that hummingbird, that beautiful hummingbird. And the cat's like, oh, yeah, what about slavery? Did you forget? <laughs> like, oh, cat, you got me again. You dropped a drone on Pakistan yesterday. <laughs> Don't complain to me about the bird you didn't give a f- <laughs> You have a building full of dogs and cats that you kill regularly. Yeah. Dogs, um, you, they, they'll love you. They're kind of dumber, I think. Like, they're just like, oh, you're my dad? Okay, well, you're my dad. But, like, but cats, if they, if they love you, if they really care about you, you had to f- earn that. And I think that there's, like, a real... There's a real thing there. Like, you really have to earn a cat's love. They're smart about it. People are garbage, you know? And so well, cats know that. I think that's probably the, the uh, biggest lie in modern media, because I don't read the news at all, that uh, this misconception that cats are smart. I don't believe that. I, uh, I, I think they seem it, like they look really cool, and they're so standoffish, and we, we associate that kind of like exclusivity with intelligence. But I, like, I've, I've spent time around cats, sir. I cat sat for uh, my aunt and uncle for a week with these two cats. I have like, a black friend. <laughs> That's what you're saying. That's basically what you're saying. We get it. And, 
and like just spending like a concentrated amount of time where all I'm doing is watching cats. I'm sitting there like, you're not f-ing smarter than my dog. They're still falling down. They're, they're, they're still, they're just cleaner than dogs. Actually, based off research, cats' uh, brains are closer to human brains than they are to, uh, that do- dog <laughs> brains are to human brains. So they are smarter, but they just don't give a f- like, they right. don't want to try. See, this is just more, this research, this is more liberal media. <laughs> I feel like I like dogs better personally, but cats are higher beings than dogs and possibly than human beings. Like, in, in a household, like, cats definitely think they are above the human. Like, that's actually a fact. Like, when they're presenting the kill to you, it's not like, here's a gift to you, my master. It's like a gang initiation. Like, okay, look, now I want to see you eat this, mother Like, this is is your chance to prove yourself. Because they're like, you can't do this. You can't do what I do. Right. I can hunt. Look, I did it for you, because you're a loser. This is step one (laughs) of the, yeah, of the, like, teaching you to hunt game. Like, how they would teach a kitten, like, that they own, or that, that, that is theirs how to hunt. And also when they rub up against you, that's like them marking you with their scent as like their possession, which is creepy. Uh, <laughs> but I also think it's, it's kind of interesting, like it's almost like because their scent is now on you and you go out into the city, like other cats smell their scent on you and they can smell like how horny the cat is and like how ready the cat is to mate. So that's like an awesome, like they're just like putting a billboard of like sex with them on their owners. That would be like me putting post-its on people being like Carmen (laughs) Sale. I don't know a ton about animal husbandry, but I feel like cats are mostly cats and then there's sort of different makes and models. Uh, But dogs, we bred all kinds of different skills and superpowers and things into them. Like Sharpays are bred so that the folds of their skin uh, make it so that if boars attack them, they like can't get a good hold on the dog. Yeah. Because some people used to hunt boars. That's fine. <laughs> uh, sure we we did that. That's that's not like we didn't just notice. Like, look how f-ing silly that is. I bet that's great for boar. Yeah, I believe so. And, and there's a lot of other like beagles were bred for uh, um, hunting foxes, I think. And then there's a lot of different yeah. just ways uh, we over time. Uh, <laughs> genetically engineered dogs, even though we didn't know what that is quite, you know? The Dachshund, uh, Datsun, Dachshund, whatever the f*** is, like, specifically bred that way to uh, hunt badgers inside badger holes, which is way more badass than what my guess was. Right, I see that for people who, who just in case anyone doesn't know, Dachshund is wiener dog. Like, that's the, yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah. the nomenclature for, for wiener dog, which is, like, the most ridiculous-looking dog uh, that, we, that we have. We're like, look at this garbage, let's just keep making it. But they're, 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 they were such badass like hunters and fetchers for like burrowing down and getting things. And I see, because my dog is, is uh, Bart Dachshund, he's a rescue, you love him. Uh, and I can still see like that burrowing instinct that he has when he's trying to like burrow into the couch or like as soon as there's sand, he's digging there looking for badgers. Or just like, or just like cuddling up real close to me. That's not related to burrowing, but it's super cute. <laughs> I feel like dogs, like humans kind of molded dogs to like kind of work with them like as a tool and like we have all these different species but cats have just from Jump Street have just been doing the same thing. They're like, I'm gonna kill rats for you and that's it. Like, and so the only thing that, the only way that cats evolved was they developed a meow that mimics babies crying like to like, so that like triggers like something hardwired in the human brain to like nurture them. So that's why modern cats, like as they uh, developed that, people like took care of them and those cats lasted. So like dogs are still around because we made them our tools and like cats are still around because they like tricked us. Like they made (laughs) us their like food machine. And that was their one trick. Like, I, f- I feel like we see a real change in evolution with dogs. Like, you can go back forever and you see dogs running around and, like, hunting with people. You know, it's like this dog is going to spot 
birds, and this dog is going to get a smaller thing and, and, and bring it back. And time goes on, and now we have dogs who do like weird bullshit pageants and stuff, and we dress them up, and there's one in, on the Santa Monica Promenade that skateboards. So we just like <laughs> keep teasing them things. But you can go to like pots from the Egyptian days, and it's still the same cat not giving a shit. Like that's the only <laughs> way that cats have been depicted throughout time. Why should it give a shit? Because I'm keeping it alive. Or no, like, it's I mean, I, not me, alive. of course, obviously. <laughs> I think of dogs as like cult members because, you know, like people say dogs are loyal, but it's like, are they loyal? Or did, as a puppy, when it did something wrong, were you like, no, 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 no. And you're like, bad dog, bad dog. It's not loyalty. They're scared of you. Like they don't, they don't know what else to do. You told them no. Cats like just do their own thing. It's like, it is their world. Like divas, they're divas and divas are better people. Like Beyonce is a cat. You know what I mean? <laughs> she can do whatever the hell she wants and we'll listen to her and we deserve to because she's the most beautiful and the most talented. Oh, damn it. And Robin Thicke is a dog. This is terrible. <laughs> Here's my main problem. And, and as you can see, is like all the dudes here are pro-dog. And, uh, you know, I'm more open with like kind of who I am. Like I embrace both genders. And I'm a woman. So we like cats because we're smarter. And uh, women are smarter. That's obvious. Uh, but my, my point is, what I don't like about, one thing I really don't like about dogs and cats and the way it's dis discussed is, dogs are supposedly a male animal. And if you like cats, like cat ladies are sad or something like that. Or if you like cats, like I'm a single guy with two cats and there's some people who think that's so weird. And it's like, but cats are more designed for men. If you're talking about like specifics, like dogs, like like in the way that men are supposed to be like stoic and not want anything to depend on them, and like the way that the gender binary has, in the heteronormative kind of gender like binary, dogs are much more for women and cats are much more for men. I don't walk my cat, I feed it, I scoop its litter once in a while, I do whatever the f I want. It's amazing. I don't have to take care of the cat. The cat takes care of itself. And you, even though you're so macho, you shoot guns every day. And uh, you do. I've seen it on YouTube. You're a monster. But the point is, you, you take care of something all the time. You need it to love you all the time. You're not a man. You're a weak little baby. <laughs> And you are a guest <laughs> I on our show. I was told to spice it up. But it anyway, like you just call women weak little babies. My point is, but do you, do you know what I'm talking about? You, I do. That's a uh, really in, insightful takedown of a pop culture stereotype. I agree with you. That's 1,000% one, 1, true and I don't think has been addressed before. And there's, I'm never, uh, and I don't want to get in any kind of tricky language here, I'm never less traditionally masculine than when I'm around my dog. That's the most, if we're just talking about like very 1960s television version of men versus women, I am the most feminine when I'm with my dog and I'm like on my knees hugging him, being like holding his head, being like, you're my whole world, don't ever go away from me. <laughs> Guys who are dog people in pop culture are like Fry, Ron Burgundy, Doc Brown, and like cat people are Gargamel, John Arbuckle, uh, Dr. Claw, Dr. Evil. Uh, it's just like, there's no like, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's not. It in, is in not the same fair. Way that, yeah. In the same way that a lot of villains, like in Hitchcock movies, were like gay, like that, like the way that right. gay people was like as sneering and weird. It's similar to the way they portray um, like men who like cats, but also the cat lady is a is like an offensive term. It's not said in an affectionate way. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna go hook up with a cat lady tonight. It's <laughs> like, oh no, she's a cat lady. It's ridiculous. They're nurturing people. To bring another uh, wrench into this situation, I just gotta say, I think um, pigs are actually smarter than all animals. That's true. We found this out on a pitch doc that uh, like, pigs are better at every single job that we give to canine units of the police force, which like made us draw the conclusion that the only reason that cops aren't using that is because of the jokes that would come <laughs> with, like pigs. It was like, well, can't do this. Right, there's one cop. He's like, I did the research. Look at this pig. It does a backflip and it found cocaine. And like, right. man, listen to yourself. We can't do it. I understand, but no. We found out donuts can solve crimes. Nah, not gonna use it. It doesn't, doesn't matter. They can play video games. Like cats or pigs would be such like a, a like a better pet that you could play video games with. Like they can play the 
oh god, what's the word? Joystick video games. Yeah. Like they were actually they tested it out in like universities. It was it was great. And I was like, are you kidding me? If that was my pet, I would be indoors playing video games with my pig right. every day. What game was it? What kind of game? Uh, it was a I, flight simulator game, and the pig was just doing terrorist maneuvers. <laughs> <laughs> if you find out that pigs love Mountain Dew, they're just humans. You know what I mean? <laughs> Because I'm so fearful of Jake, I'm ready to take a, a play out of my dog's book and roll over and show him my belly where I'm softest and like declare his dominance. Well, also, America's kind of voted. It's like 88 million cats yeah. to 74 million cats. dogs. So, popularity-wise, yeah, but cats like, are miscongeniality. The and then we have a cat president. Fantastic. Right. Really good. Actually, there have been cat mayors, so... <laughs> there have been there have been dog mayors too. There have been several dog mayors. Several? Yeah. Name them. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously, obviously, cats and dogs are both awesome, and uh, they're both great. I'm amazed in general that people have time for dogs, and that's what I find amazing because you guys work all day. I mean, that's part of me with cats. Is like I don't. I feed them and then I'm out all the time, like like often really long days. So it's like, I don't know how you take care of the dogs. That's mostly what I understand and why you'd want to do that to yourself. It's like having kids, like don't do it. You know what I mean? Like just don't do that to yourself. And it, I'm amazed that people do it, but it's such a big, it's such a big part of your life that it's your whole personality and you lose your identity as a human. You know what I mean? My, uh, that's totally true. Rough, 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 rough. Excuse me. That's totally true. My identity, wasn't great. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't like <laughs> here's this guy with no dog. Isn't he fun to party with? No, that, I can let him die. That's fine. <laughs> all right, I think that's all the time we have actually. So thanks everybody for thanks so coming much for out. Really Thank appreciate it. Woo! Hey, thanks for watching that video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Our. <laughs> that's the joke. <clears throat> Hey, thanks for watching that particular video. Make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel because this is your first day on YouTube and you didn't know you could do that. The words are right there.